Hello, Virgos. This is you versus them for October 31st through November the 8th. This reading is for Virgos. With all placements, primarily Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Okay, guys. I'm using two different decks for you guys. I'm using the Spellcasters Tarot for you guys. And I'm using the Steampunk Tarot for them. Okay. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, just go to the website, select your reading, and um, yeah, just like that. All right, guys. Let's see. What did you think about the relationship that you had with this person or the connection that you had or have with this person? Virgos. What do you think about this connection? Two of Pentacles. Leo got this same card out the gate. Just being unsure of it. Capricorn energy. Um, not, not sure what to do with it. Should this be something that you invest in? Should it not? Should it be a priority? Or should it not? So a lot of things are up in the air about this relationship with this person, I feel. You're still not sure. I don't think you've made a decision on it yet. Even if you're not with them, like I feel like you still haven't completely decided to like let it go either. Okay? <clears throat> How did this person feel about the connection with Virgo? How do they feel about the connection with Virgo? Three of Swords. Disappointed. Disappointed. Wanting to have a conversation. Wanting to talk things out. This person still feels like this. Hmm. Libra energy. There's something that's really bothering them currently still. Throughout this whole situation with this person, I'm, I'm feeling like this person expected a lot of you. And so regardless of what you did, it feels like it is just not enough. It's never enough. And that's how you feel. Although you care about this person, you just feel like no matter what I do, it's not enough, is what I'm hearing here, okay? What's currently happening for my Virgos? What's currently happening for Virgos? The moon and your feelings. Not sure, you know, things are just not clear for you. You're on this roller coaster of emotions that you're riding, and you're having a hard time, like, stopping this ride. I feel like you, you phase in and out of um, wanting to be with this person and not. I, I'm sensing some sort of um, depression here. Mood swings with you guys. Cancer energy there. What's currently happening with the other person? I'm trying to get your feelings in check. Poor guys currently happening with the other person page of wands there's something very kind of um sneaky going on with this person i feel like they they're not showing their hands to you they're not there's something going on with them currently i feel like this person may be showing interest elsewhere um, not sure if you guys are still together or not I, in some instances I feel like you guys are still together and this person is like um, they may be talking to someone else it hadn't gone very far but nevertheless this person I feel is communicating with someone else showing interest um, somewhere else this is Aries Leo Sagittarius energy here What's influencing the situation with Virgo? What's influencing the situation with Virgo? What's influencing the situation with them? Oh, whether or not to let this go. Because it, it almost feels like it's over anyway if you're with this person. It feels like it's over. 
you definitely want to see some sort of change some sort of headway with this person and you're standing your ground on that you need to see something concrete coming from them that they're stable that they um can handle their shit i feel like there's an instability maybe there is a wandering eye or something um that this person has but i feel you guys almost like presenting an ultimatum to this person like an or else i'm dipping i'm leaving because at the end of the day, you definitely are going to do what's best for you. I just think it's taking some time if you're still with this person. If you're not with this person, I feel like um, definitely some of you are not with this person. And it's you're feeling like that's the best thing for you. And you're standing your ground on that. And this person has done some bullshit towards you. But I feel like they blame you for that bullshit. Like, I sense the disappointment here. But I feel like, again, you guys feel like you cannot do enough to please this person. And so, when this person feeling like they always want, they're always wanting something from you. They don't feel like that. They just want something. And then when, it, when you give it to them, they want something else. And when you say, no, I'm not going to give it, then this is what they do. Even though you've done damn near everything they've asked you to do, this is what they do. Because nothing that you do is going to be good enough. And this is how you guys are feeling, some of you, okay? Aquarius energy there. Aries, Taurus energy. And Scorpio, okay? What's influencing the other person? What's influencing the other person here? The chariot. I feel like this person is definitely looking for somebody to, um, and I hate to say this, but it feels like ride their coattails. Um, they're looking for the one. They're looking for the one that's going to do everything that they want them to do because when they find that person that does everything that they want them to do, which I don't know if that person's out there, then they feel like, okay, they're content this is where home is then i'm successful okay so i feel like this person is very high maintenance may not be like with purses and shoes and or clothes and cars and shit like that but just the fact that they want what they want and they want you to provide it and when you don't it's like a betrayal you know that type of person they're looking for someone i feel like that is unrealistic is the word cancer energy what's coming in for virgos what's coming in for virgos seven of pentacles here i feel this person's coming back I do feel like this person's coming back your way. But what's coming in for you, like for self, for you, is the fact that I feel like you guys are finding other things to invest in, um, primarily yourselves. I feel here with this two and the the seven of pentacles is the nine of pentacles. I feel like you guys are investing more into yourselves, but the same way that this person like dipped out and basically hurt you, because I feel like this three of swords is is truly is it truly belongs to you. Um, that they hurt you. They they are the ones that left. They are the ones that betrayed your trust. And um, I feel like the same way that they left and did that, they're coming back. Because a lot of times, the thief returns to the scene of the crime, right? So, yeah. I feel you guys are, are doing something else and realizing that, you know, you need to, like, focus on you. And um, you deserve more, is what I'm getting here. It's coming in for the other person. It's coming in for the other person. Sign. I feel like this person's running right into like <laughs> themselves. Um, so I'm feeling strong uh, Cancer Leo energy here may have Libra in their chart. Um, 
I feel Taurus is here as well, but I feel like this person is um, is very egotistical. This person is going to be hit with a with a large dose of self reflection, um, realizations when it comes to you guys here. I feel like this person is definitely coming back your way because, and I know you're not going to want to hear this, but I feel like you guys you kind of tame them because I don't think that you allow them to get away with the things that they want to get away with. And so I think this is leading them back to you, actually. Okay? This person that they belong with that matches them, I feel like that is you guys. And I know a lot of you are going to say, no, 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 no. But I do feel yes. Because you are not going to stand for this tomfoolery of them constantly expecting um, things from you and you giving it. I, I feel you guys putting your foot down here. I do. What is the outcome here for Virgos? What is the outcome for Virgos? The full your destiny not the fool my gosh the star <laughs> i do feel like aries may be here um but the star your destiny yes yes and guess what your soulmate aquarius energy i feel like this person and you minding your own business and putting your foot down establishing your boundaries here they come. They're coming back. Most definitely. They're coming back. For some of you. This is not going to be for all of you now. Okay. <clears throat> what's coming? What's the outcome for them? What is the outcome for them? What is the outcome for them? Five of Cups. Having regrets. Feeling like it's been a missed opportunity. Scorpio energy. They're coming back. But I don't know if you take them back is the thing. Because you see the seven of pentacles, you have your head down. And maybe your destiny is not with them. Maybe, you know, because we all have the power of free will. Maybe you're their match, but they're not yours. Okay, so this, this person is going to get, you know, struck with some reality, I feel, here in a minute from you guys. And then they're going to have all these regrets about how they treated you, how they make you, made you feel like you weren't good enough. Okay, so that's what I have for you, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.